Right on. Let's go. All right, so Empire Dow. My name is Mike Freida. I am the founder of Empire Dow, and I'm going to take your journey of IRL and why the importance of it. So this is our six-story building in Soho in Manhattan, um, all dedicated pure to Web3. So the six floors for the arts and entertainment, three, four, and five are hacker houses, uh, Web3 investors, all the tools need a founder, artist, or builder need in one place. And the second floor is a lounge, gallery, performance center. So you can show your tech. We do demo days. And it, we just want it to be a really nice place for people to, to build. It filled up super fast. We built the online community first, and then once we were open, it filled in. So like any good story on Solana, it started with a monkey. Uh, so I go to Mainnet in New York, and I have a, a magnet picture of my monkey, and I bring it to the bar, and some guy comes running over to me. And he's like, dude, I've got, a, I've got a monkey too. I've never met anyone else. And you know, we get along. It's, it's OX Banana. Um, and he's like, I've never met anybody. Let's go. And then he, he asked me to his Solana NYC Telegram group, which I didn't know existed. So I joined the cult, and it's a great cult. Uh, and within a few days, I see that there's a hacker house, like a one-day thing that Reciprocal Ventures, uh, Luke and Mary from BridgeSplit organized this, and it was a one-day hacker house in Solana, in, uh, in New York. Everybody building on Solana. It was magic. I mean, companies were formed, we were, it was, it was great. And who wants to do this again? Everyone raise their hand. Who wants to make it a Dell? Let's go. And so that's kind of how it was born. And so then, as you were mentioning on the hacker houses, I came to, to Chico's hacker house, and, and, and uh, I was blown away with, like, all right, this is a great concept that we could do on a permanent basis. At NFT NYC, Magic Eden had a party. A ton of interest grew from, from the Solana community. Went to the uh, Solana hacker house at Art Basel. I met Simon, who actually, his grandfather did the, the signage here of the Empire Dow. I met Supreet, who's now the COO. All right, and so 190 Bowery was supposed to be that small space, but they were like, oh, come in for a free tour. I was like, let's just go for a free tour. Me and my wife went. We couldn't get the place, but I wanted to see this building. Every New Yorker knows this building. And I knew. I knew from the jump that it was like, it was the spot. It was going to be the Web3 Red Pill Center that's going to change, you know, help upgrade society to Web3. But you need to know a little bit about my background to understand how, how I saw this. Um, I grew up in the Triangle Tavern in South Philadelphia. I was shucking clams and making pizzas when I was five years old. <laughs> uh, probably illegal, but... And I grew up in this bar, and I gr grew up in hospitality. And I was at Filterbox. We were in the first Techstars class in Boulder, Colorado, so I was able to see how communities, builder communities came together. The Pearl Street Mall was essentially what our second floor is, the place where everyone bumps into each other and has collisions. So you have access to universities, founders, uh, investors, everything that you need as a builder. We got acquired by Jive Software, so I spent the next 10 years essentially being like, work remote, everybody. Web 2 is the greatest. So I was at Jive, I was at 21st Century Fox, putting the, the hashtag on TVs, um, social edge consulting. We were purely trying to upgrade people from Web, two, web 1 to Web 2. Helped start the Center for Social Innovation in New York City. Then I went to BNY Mellon, I was the head of collaboration and innovation center. So my job was to collect the online, uh, digital with the in-person communities. In the meantime, I was an adjunct at NYU, and I taught English as a second language in Prague. So there's a lot of education in this. I hosted this show called FinTech Friday at BNY Mellon. Uh, this was like 2016, so I was a Bitcoin maxi. I, I don't think we had a choice back then other than to be a Bitcoin maxi. Uh, and I would just kind of try to red pill BNY Mellon, America's oldest bank, on what was coming. And we actually started the Bitcoin custody program, which just got released about a month ago. So we go back to New York. We had a preview night. A bunch of people showed up, and we built a community. In the meantime, I went to Mountaindale and saw Congressman Curtis say, hey, that transaction, I just learned more about crypto in 30 seconds in four years of you guys yapping about crypto. This is where it really went off of making Empire Dow a please touch museum for people to understand what it is. Then I went to Lynx Dow South by Southwest and an IRL Web3 project, and that's actually where we met our lead investor, Andrew uh, Ehrenberg. Chicago Hacker House, met some characters. Miami Hacker House, met some more. And then finally we got in. Everybody who helped build this was fun, from the Solana community that we helped meet along the way in all these different hacker houses in different places. So Solana Hacker Houses really are the, helped create Empire Dow. So again, it filled up fast. Solana moved in and they featured the builders there. So the idea behind it is not necessarily office space for Solana, it's meant to be builder space. The entire space should be Builders, creators, artists, and not paying themselves. It should be from the, from the platforms and ecosystems that are trying to grow. 
Solana moved in. Uh, Barreldale delivered a pallet of DJ and 8 beer. We had some good dinners. And this is kind of who's here. So the chains want access to developers, founders, developers, investors are getting crazy deal flow here. Uh, the artists and media producers come in on a daily basis trying to understand what's happening in this Web3 world, how they can get royalties for their art. <clears throat> and then we have the policymakers, universities, corporations. Uh, Harvard, MIT, and Princeton all have their, their monthly blockchain centers uh, meetups at our place. We give it to them for free. And then the foundations, the Met and MoMA want to sponsor what we're doing because we're giving back to the arts. So the community took over. This is really important. Everyone's like, it gives me credit, but I just saw the land on the hill. And the community took over. They started doing their own yoga on the roofs and different movie nights and different things in the community themselves that we don't even know about. The advisory board was created to keep the vibes going. So this is really who, who kind of runs the show here. Uh, the Empire Dowley is a print-only publication for IRL Maxi, so you have to come in to see the events, see what's going on, and get to know each other. Um, Bruno from Magda coined both of the Empire Dowley and, and the advisory. Um, are we a DAO? No, we are DAO in air quotes. I like to say, like, when Netflix started out with DVDs, we are building towards a DAO. Um, I'd love to chat all day about why we chose paths of centralization as feature set in order to get to the DAO, which is our ultimate goal. We also want to have a foundation, and we'll continue to have a C Corp as well. Vendal just looks like a regular vending machine, but this should be historic. So this is, we're working with Bridge Split for fractionalization, so 10 people can own it or 200 people can own it. It's accessible. You can invest as little as $10 in Vendal. And so we're working with State Senator Sanders. He's the head of the Finance Committee in New York and three other state senators and assemblymen to show we're, we're pushing a DAO as an entity type in New York. And the vending machine is how we're going to show how small businesses can be created for people that don't have access typically to the financial structures that existed before. And can also be completely transparent. So you see all the things that we vote on, everything where the money moves, and you don't have to know or trust the people that you go in business with. This could be a boom for small businesses in New York and beyond, and if we can prove it in New York, we can take away the bit license, and I, they know that's holding us back. So this could be the way, the path forward. And we're building all this with, with squads, realms, Maki, uh, Mountain, well, uh, Solana Pay, um, in, all in the Solana ecosystem. It checks every box for the, for the senators in terms of their they want financial accessibility, financial transparency, and sustainability. Building on Solana helps all three of those. Then we go to Coffee Shop DAO, and we do the same thing. It's a little more intricate with different supplies, but that's our next step as we become a DAO. Elizabeth Street Gardens, right around the corner. They've got 300 members. They have weddings. They have, uh, they have their own funds. They have zero government or corporate backing right now, so they essentially are a DAO in a sense. So they want us to help put their garden on chain so that they can do the same thing that we're doing with the vending machine and coffee shop. Finally, we buy, tokenize, and fractionalize this building itself to become a true DAO and have ownership of it. So people say, all right, what's the model here? How, do you guys, how does this work? So the building revenue comes over on the left from sponsorship, events, gallery sales, studios. And this is kind of Empire DAO here. The 190 Labs is the opportunity we have for joint ventures, accelerator, agencies, and all these other types of revenue here. Um, Baxis, for example, they came in and they've been kind of accelerated. They've been able to find their head of marketing. They did a deal with Helium. Uh, they got investment all just by being an Empire DAO. So we see there's an opportunity here to help founders and companies accelerate through. Um, if you want to jump in our Telegram, the cool thing about this is you can see the entire history of this starting. So we started back in uh, November, about a year ago. and. Every single image in there and every single conversation that we've had of building this has been public. So you can see how we built this uh, and, and see the history. So a lot of the like, journalists and whatnot will come in here. So feel free to join us there. And then uh, we are always looking for sponsorship and getting more of the Solana ecosystems and every other ecosystem in here to help build the future so that we can kind of red pill society, show them what's going on and how we're building from there. Feel free to connect with me directly, and I can link you up. So that's Empire Dow. Thank you.